Here with the 2008 Olympic gold medal winner, once beaten professional, world ranked, all four sanctioned by his European super middleweight champion, WBC silver champion, James DeGale. How you doing? All good, brother. You? Doing all right. Facing late replacement, Sebastian Demers. How you feeling? Yeah, feeling all good, man. Uh, ain't seen too much of him, to be honest, uh, Sebastian. But uh, what I've looked, we've obviously done the research on him and... Uh, He's been in with some good world-class opposition, but every time he's been stepped up, uh, he's he's lost and been found out. So uh, I'm excited about it and looking to put on a, a wicked show for the Canadian people. Obviously, you're an Olympic hero back in the United Kingdom, coming across the pond, making your North American debut. Uh, what's it mean to you to be uh, fighting first year in Canada? I know we spoke off TV. You would like to fight in America at some point as well. What's it mean to you to be fighting a different continent? Yeah, listen, it's all good, man. But I'm used to it. As an amateur, I travel all around the world. Uh, so I'm used to it, man. But uh, I'm really, really looking forward to boxing out here and uh, want to put on a good show. It seems like ever since, uh, I don't want to call it a loss because I think it was a close fight, but, yeah. the, but the Groves fight, it seemed to really have jump-started your career in a weird kind of way. Where, I mean, he, I mean you're always being linked to him for whatever, for the amateur days. Yeah. He's kind of stayed stagnant, and you, you, you've been jump-started. I mean, was that, was that maybe a, a kick in the pants that maybe you needed? I said a kick up the butt, trust me. Uh, maybe it got a bit uh, too, too laid back and too chilled. But uh, listen, my, my, my career has gone on since that. I won the European title to fight after. Uh, I've boxed a couple of good uh, names in the world, like Zuniga and people like that. So, uh, and I won a WC championship, so I'm making my way up that ladder. I'm making my way towards that world title, so uh, my career is going forward. 2013, it looks to be like you got these belts. It looks to be a, a moving year for you. You're ranked uh, pretty highly in all four major sanctioning bodies. I think you're ranked three or four in a couple of them. Um, I know you're not looking past the mares, but where do you see yourself by the end of this year? Yeah, just a good performance tomorrow. Uh, and I just want to keep on progressing, keep on performing, uh, and keep on getting them fights. As I say, man, give me a couple more fights, and I want, I want to be boxing for a world title. I want the Lusain Boutes, the Carl Frox, the uh, Stiglitz. Uh, that's why I'm in boxing for the big fights. Uh, and please believe me, I'll get them by the end of the year. Yeah, how much, you know, you talk about, especially you said Boutte, Making a statement, you know, an hour and a half, two hours from his home, uh, yeah. his hometown. Uh, that means that important to you uh, for guys like Butte and uh, some of the guys in North America, Andre Ward, uh, those type of guys. As I say, man, I need to, I need to perform well on Friday, just to show what I'm about and what I'm made of. Like, because he's believe me, I've only had 15 fights as a pro, but I've done a lot so far, and uh, I'm ready. I'm ready for the big boys. If I carry on progressing and carry on. Uh, carry on looking good them fights are going to come them fights will come and also uh, this fight's being talked about on well TV uh, you know there, there's some of the hardcore fans in America probably have seen you fight but now you, you actually have a presence in America on, on a television network what's that mean to you as well it means a lot man obviously growing up uh, you see all your fighters you, you watch growing up like Prince Nazim Hamid and people like that coming to America coming to Canada and fighting on the big shows so uh, that's one of my dreams man so uh I'm ticking all the boxes, but the next stop's America, 100%. Well, you're one of the future bouts, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow night on Well TV. Anything you want to say in closing? Nah, man, just prepare yourself, because James Shanky the guy is here, and he's ready to put on a performance, so prepare. Congratulations, and we'll see you tomorrow night. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.